Boketov Khabri, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Just a quick take of our broadcast. Wanted to share some highlights of things that are going on right now. The Veritas Project, James O'Keefe, has come out with yet another video on CNN. And of course, some of the things that I've really appreciated about this work on CNN is the complete bias and propaganda that's being brought out about Russia. Well, maybe not even propaganda. According to the uh, some of the latest video releases that Veritas Project has done, we find out that CNN only stays with Russia because of ratings and that there's really no proof behind it. That kind of seems to really give heavy weight to Henry Lowendorf, the peace activist that went to Syria with a delegation there on a fact-finding mission, meeting with both President Bashar al-Assad and that of the opposition uh, forces to see what was really behind the story. And as Henry Lowendorf brought back and said, we are dealing with a wave of propaganda in American media. I want to play just a clip of this from Mr. Uh, O'Keefe's uh, uh, Veritas Project. Shit because I think it is very important that we see a little bit about what's being said here, uh, just to show you the bias that comes out. The very first question that is going to be asked him by the undercover uh, reporter is to find out whether or not uh, it is, CNN is a unbiased reporting media. Listen to what is the question and what is responded. CNN, it's an impartial, right? Did I, what's the view? As he's asked the question, CNN is impartial, right? And he says, in theory. You know, one thing we pride ourselves here at Israeli News Live is that, as our own slogan states on Twitter, in a world of global bias, we're trying to uncover the truth. Even though we are an Israeli news source, an American news source, both countries, we are licensed in the United States as well as approved by the Israeli government for israelinewslive.co.il, we do find ourselves in a situation of bringing out truth even when it doesn't feel very well. Clearly, in the case of Syria, both the United States and Israel playing a part in helping overthrow President Bashar al-Assad. Can't say I always agree with these things either, but the truth must come out, bias or not bias. Listen to a little bit more of what he says about President yeah, Trump. Well, in, in like the kind of media on the inside, we all recognize he is a clown, that he is hilariously un unqualified for this, that he's really bad at this. Of course, he is given an opinion in the interview here, but the fact that Veritas Project has clearly come out with some very incriminating evidence against CNN, basically letting us know that the stories on Russia are more for ratings and not for uh, facts or accountability. And then, of course, we have this article that comes out on the Kremlin's own website, en.kremlin.ru, events, presidents, news, 54, 910 is the actual uh, call letters. You can look this up here. The meeting with Henry Kissinger. Vladimir Putin received American politicians, uh, polit excuse me, political scientists and former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger at the Kremlin. This happened yesterday, of course, today being June the 30th, uh, 2017. Very troubling meeting to me to see this happening, uh, Henry Kissinger with President Vladimir Putin, because we know that Henry Kissinger is the architect of the New World Order. So why would he be meeting Putin? And of course, he's going over there on a regular basis. Is Putin really playing along with this whole agenda of a New World Order? And we're just being duped into believing something else. Could it be that Russia knows their part in this New World Order will be to attack Israel, to attack the United States? And is this, is, is this what's really happening over in the Middle East right now? I said to you, in, a, in several recent videos there, that the Catholic Church is wanting to make prophecy fulfill in the way that they see that it should. I've even suggested that Putin is being lured into a conflict to attack Israel only to fulfill those things that the Vatican would like to see happen. Now, let me just share to, with you what I mean by that. Joel Bainerman writes here on Barry Chamish, the late Barry Chamish's website, what does the Vatican want? It says, it can't be that the Vatican is only interested in access to the holy sites in Jerusalem. They already have that. 
as well as legal jurisdiction under Israeli law for their institutions and assets in Jerusalem. Also, when these holy sites were under jurisdiction of the Jordanians from 1948 to 1967, no pope demanded internationalizing of Jerusalem like they're doing now. It is something else with the Vat uh, which the Vatican wants. The Roman Catholic Church need to have certain versions of events be played out for them to stand in front of mankind and proclaim our Messiah has returned. Of course, to the Jews, this Messiah will be as false as the first one was supposed to be. Doesn't matter. This is the goal of the Vatican, and this is what all Israelis need to worry about. See, now watch this here. The Vatican Roman Catholic Church, uh, Church Catholics version of it, events is this. They know this isn't the end of the story the Jewish, the Jewish God had in mind, but that doesn't mean they won't try to engineer their own ending to the story. So what if, a fraudul so what if it is fraudulent? Doesn't matter. That is their game plan, and that is what matters. And, what, and that is what Israeli Jews need to be better informed about. And that's just kind of giving you a little basic idea of what's going on. So <clears throat> when I see the meetings like this with Henry Kissinger, knowing that he is the architect of the New World Order, and then I realize that Russia sitting there vowing to protect Bashar al-Assad, are they really doing it because of Bashar al-Assad, or is Russia also playing this game as a New World Order empire? After all, everything is being done to provoke Russia. It's also seeing the prophecy of Ezekiel 38 that Gog of Magog, hooks are put into his jaw and forces him to come against Israel. And if the Vatican is going to have their way and to fulfill prophecy of Isaiah 17, destroying Damascus, having a Gog and Magog war be fulfilled, and I know many people will cite that John of Revelation speaks of the Gog and Magog war being fulfilled at the end of the millennial reign. I agree with you. But the odd thing is, I know some scholars believe that it's compound fulfillment. Well, I'm sure the Vatican would like for you to believe that just as much as well. Therefore, they will bring their own Gog of Magog down. When in reality, Gog is nothing to do with Russia. Gog has always been a Roman king. Something we ought to think about as we watch these events. My concern, like I said, though, is Russia actually playing into this as well. Maybe so. Who knows? Anyway, another news. Terrorist attack hits Donetsk National University in eastern Ukraine. There has been steady fighting going on in Ukraine, and the conflict continues to rise. I think it's going to be another uh, situation as part of the rising conflict over in, in Syria. We will see as that conflict escalates, it will also escalate on Russia's border with Ukraine and uh, also in Latvia, Poland, etc. No doubt this is going to a third world war. I think this is what they want as part of a new world order. I also know I had some friends send me some information uh, that the Pope of Rome is once again calling for a new world order and a one world government. It is on the heels, but the only way they're going to have a new world order and a one world government is after a third world war. Uh, you know, there's some very, some very truth in movies. If you really kind of watch, they send messages to you out there. And I've been noticing that. I'm not a big movie buff, but I definitely notice a lot of these things are being played out in a very clandestine way. Also, we find the United States has just really infuriated China. RT reporting gross interference with domestic affairs. China's furious at Trump's 1.4 billion Taiwan arms deal. You know, I really appreciate the way that President Trump is uh, trying to boost the economy, but I can tell you one thing, boosting of the economy uh, in his way of thinking right now is nothing but selling arms and weapons and bringing about our own demise in the process. But we will pay down the national debt to some degree, but eventually we will probably find ourselves in a third world war and it won't be so pretty as it's been in the past. As Russia has stated, the next world war will not be fought in its country. I am concerned. And as I said, with Henry Kissinger involved as well, as we have been watching this for more than a year now with him and President Putin, President Putin may very well be playing right along with this plan. I certainly hope he's not, but he may very well be. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I promised you that message about the arc uh, of... Uh, 
the Ark of Palmyra, the Ark of Baal there that has been moved around the world and some of the insights that I have on that. I can't wait to share that with you. Don't forget, we do need your help in keeping this broadcast going. Even the one that we do on television there, we are still looking for uh, some of those that would like to be a sponsor. We do have one sponsor that will be coming up in the next month or so that will be helping us to keep the project going on television because it gives us a platform on U.S. television before 20 million homes that can help bring some balance into reporting in America other than the false news that CNN is putting out. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.